Welcome to Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I am Deb here with your general intuitive messages. I hope y'all are doing well and I hope that this reading finds you safe. Let's go ahead and get started. Self node, also known as the dragon's tail. It's um, the karmic challenges or successes in past lives, which brings you to the current circumstances. So this represents the karmic past. Mm. So let's keep going, y'all. Fourth house, the house of family and home. Um, so this has something to do with your ancestry, your heritage, your roots, also your DNA. Hmm. Interesting. Also, this got something to do with like your relationships with your parents, your childhood, how your childhood upbringing was, your domestic affairs and um, your childhood home. So definitely check in your fourth house and see what's in there. Scorpio, the eighth sign of the zodiac, the second water sign. So this is um, Scorpio characteristics include resourcefulness, powerful, determined, brave, passionate, stubborn, and having a high um, high endurance. So you guys might have Scorpio in your chart somewhere. I don't know if you have it on if it's your south node, but this also indicates all the transformations and deaths and rebirths. So definitely check that out, y'all. What's the news? We're definitely talking about some past life okay this could have something to do with past karma or again child energy maybe your childhood wounds so let's keep going i feel like you learned a lot um and I feel like you're using what you've learned to, you know, transform things and put it more into your favor. I feel like when you were younger, you went through a lot of holding, like things that felt like it was holding you back or you didn't feel like you were getting motivated or you didn't feel like you were being loved. Wow. Yeah. See, the ace of swords, but the nine of cups wanted to show. So there's some type of wish that's coming in. Something that you asked for possibly a long time ago. But yeah, there's a new cycle coming in, the world card. So the cycle is changing, it's moving. Prince of Cups, this again is like childhood um, emotions, or it could be like, you know, just really get into where things stemmed from. Six of Swords. Huh. I feel like you're you're really tapping into some spiritual form of uh, like you're learning something spiritually and what it's doing is like it's kind of teaching you things within yourself like you're going within starting over again prince of wands yeah this is somebody who's like back into their childlike state all these princes keep coming out seven of this This can mean receiving a harvest from what it was that you have already put in, the time, the energy, and the effort. So there might be someone that's coming in to kind of like assist you, or it could be just energy that's coming back from, from something. We got the tower right here. So this could be something that you don't expect. So it could just pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, three of this. Somebody wants to work with you. Okay. Well, 
What's the veil of a set? What's this ace of ace of swords? Look at that. The world card coming out again in the six of scepters. So it's almost like this clarity that you're receiving is stepping you into this new cycle, the world, and it's allowing you to, you're going to see a lot of success coming in too. Just because you did, you're doing this inner work. It can be stressful at times. I feel like a lot of times you were victimized or let's say burdens were put on you, things were put on you, but it was because you're not woken to what was going on. So now that you have awoken, now you can take responsibility for it and move forward to see the world card is still here. Yeah, see the moon. Mystical happenings. You might be experiencing mystical happenings. You got best here, the guardian. So you are highly protected. Hmm. Might have air that I'm talking to. I might be talking air signs. It could be anybody, though. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Yep. Things are... <sighs> things are being balanced. Okay? You see the scale in there? Things are being balanced. There's victory and abundance after a difficult situation. Feeling bound. Feeling trapped. Feeling, you know, maybe even took an advantage of... It was probably difficult for you to be in a healthy relationship. Yeah. You felt backstabbed and betrayed, but this was all coming from your past again. This childlike energy that I keep seeing. And also could have been like mother injur injuries or mother childhood wounds. Could have been father too. Don't have to be. But with the six of scarabs right there, it's like you're gifted in some way to help the world. Okay. And you might have anxiety about it at times, the nine of swords, but I feel like you know that you're going to be able to help more people if you can heal the wounds that came with you. What's this word card? Warrior of Oaks. The seven of scepters, boundaries, protecting things. You always felt like you needed to protect yourself. The king of scepters, you always felt like that's the only way that you would be able to keep your integrity is what I'm feeling. Um, the queen of unks energy, this could have been, like I said, like a mother figure, because this is the mother of kings, Tata Sherry. But... Um, <sighs> with this pharaoh Sabat Neferu she is someone who basically built things she was one of the first um, female pharaohs so she built a lot of things and people took a lot of credit for it I feel like you had a lot of things that were taken from you that probably were something that you had built these two right here are counterparts so I feel like he, it was like your mother kind of like, um, they probably did not realize they were doing this. Okay, what I'm about to say, but I feel like whoever this mother figure was, they divided your yin and yang. So basically your masculine, your feminine energy, you didn't recognize it. And it was because this distorted energy that was here, this person that was supposed to love you, this person that was supposed to give you, um, security nurture you know feed into you and give you wisdom but i feel like they might have been distorted themselves maybe they didn't go through the healing warrior of onks it's like i feel like you now you're still open to love because you're seeing the mistakes of maybe your past ancestors the prince of cups what's this
Nine of Swords, yeah. See, he felt left out. And you probably still struggle with these mental thoughts, you know, the anxiety, the stress, the burdens, feeling kind of just left out. Maybe you felt abandoned at times. You felt like there wasn't nobody there for you. Not just emotionally, but I'm feeling like psychologically, maybe people didn't think about the traumas that they put on you. But now I feel like you're going to stand your ground, okay? Because justice is here as well. So things are about to be balanced out for y'all. What's the six of swords? Magic. I've seen that. I didn't pull it up, though. Yeah. The warrior of Unk. Still persevering in love, but moving forward. You're being guided to move forward. The magic card. There's some magical happenings that's about to occur. I told y'all. Some mystical things is about to happen. Maybe when it comes to this time and energy and effort that you already put in. The seven of this, seven of scarabs. Keep on moving forward in the principles. Keep moving forward in the principles. Because that's what's keeping you... You see this, the king of unks and this mature energy. Yeah, away from a lot of conflict. Yeah, there's because it's almost like somebody wants you to stay as a child. Maybe it's this mother energy. I don't know. What's this prince of wands? Nine of scarabs. These two cards flew on the floor, y'all. So, I feel like if this mother is a sorceress, a set energy, I don't know what all they tried to do. Because now I'm feeling like this person, not they might have done things out of ignorance, but they also done things on purpose. This person tried to put, even if it's not your mother, it could be... Uh, a wife or a baby's mother or somebody that was an empress energy or mother type a mother type figure this person was doing a lot of magic behind the scenes maybe even trying to do like moon magic they're not gonna get no success out of it though they're not going to get no success out of it they tried to use your ambitions against you so maybe if you tried to explain to this person your endeavors or your exciting news or things that you try to do this person kind of like pushed it down it made it seem like maybe it was impossible or it was, it was going to be hard for you to accomplish this um it made it hard for you to see love for yourself also you probably didn't feel like you were protected at times yeah see it made you feel like you needed to stay to yourself you you couldn't give a lot of energy see emperor yep so I feel like you're an emperor status or you're an emperor now, but in the past you didn't feel that you could have Virgo in your chart, but it was almost like this heartbreak and this betrayal. You had to come to a, a closure on your own, get the clarity on your own. That's why the Ace of Swords is here right here, but it's also in the Four of Swords over the three. But as you went inside and holded your energies to yourself and did some study and some research you start realizing hey i'm the emperor and you started to uh, see that it's time for you to move forward maybe you were raised by a single mother hmm. ten of swords yeah this person been through a lot of trauma themselves they probably had to do a lot of working but now this person is under judgment what's the seven of this Scribe of Scepters. So all this investment, time, and energy that you have put in to try to better yourself or make yourself a, you know, a better person is actually working. They see that. Somebody's spying on you. I don't know exactly who this is. I don't know if this is uh, somebody connected to this mother, but they're watching you bring in some type of inheritance. What's the tower? lovers 
Again, it don't got to be a mother. It could be an uh, ex-wife or mother of your children or whatever, right? But this this person wanted you to stay in this energy of always feeling like you got to start all over, always feeling like you'll never get anywhere far. Like I said, this person didn't believe in your dreams, your aspirations, and the things that just made you who you were. So they wanted you to stay bounded, see, trapped, feeling like you'll never really have any type of love, possibly in the past when you had like um, relationships or whatever, they didn't work out. But the tower, again, the tower is here. I put them in the wrong card because that's what I was reading for. The tower card. Yep. Here's this Empress energy right here. So somebody is shocked that you're going to get this chance to work with someone else that actually sees things in a similar way. Okay. This person wants to invest time and energy. The three of this. What's this? This could be a Gemini. Yeah. See the three, three of scarabs, warrior of scepters, two of scarabs. Okay. So we back at it. So the scribe of onks, the three of scarabs, and the warrior of scepters. It's like your child in you, the child in you is still determined to put in this for this work. So I feel like you're going to actually have a good time with these people. It's going to be very um, fun, lighthearted energies with them. And the warrior of scepters, you're just going to keep on pushing forward. You're not letting... You're not letting the will to survive be doused down, even though someone might want it, m make it hard for you or make you feel like it's hard. It's like this is the Prince of Wands kind of reminds me of the Warrior of Scepters. You know, it's almost like keep striving to become who you're meant to be. Don't keep on holding on to or going back and forth with things because you got the strength, yeah, to persevere. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I got for y'all. I hope this helps somebody. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell. Appreciate the energy exchange. Until next time, talk to y'all later. Deuces.